Portable full touch car stereo, a wireless one. Welcome back, guys. Salam alaikum, peace be upon you. It's your technician, Muhammad. Check it out what I have in my hands one car product. For the first time, I'm reviewing this product for your car. Obviously, small, tiny entertainment uh, base play box, whatever you want to call it. Uh, what I love about it, it does have a really cool features and it's a very affordable, uh, of course, uh, gadget product. Uh, the buying links in the description. This is a discounted price. Uh, I'm not sure what is the regular price. Uh, anyway, so what is cool about it, it does support iOS, iPhones, and Android. It does have also a phone mirroring. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto feature, which is great. Uh, it has a seven inch, yeah, this is seven inch screen, seven inch screen if I'm not wrong, seven inch screen with the HD resolution, 500 nits brightness. It has a dual USB basically connection port. Uh, what I mean by that, it means that you're gonna use obviously your car charger there, but all together you can connect uh, your phone uh, to uh, power it uh, with a wired connection with this one. So that's very, very cool. It does have also voice assistant feature, uh, FM radio transmitting and Bluetooth connectivity, Bluetooth 5.0 if I'm not wrong. Again, a lot of cool stuff, bro. Uh, firstly, we're gonna go with the small hands-on video over my YouTube studio uh, table and then we're gonna move immediately to the car to check it out. Remember, the buying link is in the description. Let's go. Okay, and just here we go, a small quickie hands-on of this one car stereo device. Uh, so like see stuff here, it looks very nice, compact, but still with a big, large display of seven inches. So on the back we have, of course, uh, uh, the, the holes where we're gonna attach our bucket, uh, the, the, of course, this, the holder for the car. And remember, it can go on your uh, car shield or it can go, of course, on your car window. Uh, anyway, so this is the Linux stable system with the full touch IPS HD screen. It works with the wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Uh, by the way, it does have a speakers here on the right, on the right side, uh, on the right side, yeah, if I'm not wrong, yeah. On the left side, it does have here an aux, uh, of course, aux port, 3.5 mm headphone jack, uh, DC port, and it has USB port plus SD card expansion. Check this out, guys. Awesome, isn't it? Beautiful. The microphone here is on the front and it does have three capacitive buttons, home button and plus and minus. You're gonna see how it looks like uh, in the car. So uh, you can uh, control it with the voice control, the Hey Siri or Hey Google. It has, uh, of course, dual USB port to charge your smartphone, Bluetooth hands-free call. I love that, it does have that option. And you can navigate to the online map of your smartphone with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto uh, with your Android uh, device. Remember, it has FM radio and AUX transmit uh, uh, to original car audio loudly. And yeah, that's it. These are the top uh, selling points of this uh, device. Let's go now and jump immediately to my car and see uh, how it works. Enjoy. Okay, just one of the cool features of this, uh, obviously, uh, device that it has the audio jack, uh, 3.5 mm headphone jack, so you can connect it with your car. Obviously, if your car has its own uh, uh, media player setup, uh, uh, if it has headphone jack and you want to basically listen whatever you uh, it's happening on one car stereo over your car speakers, you can do that. Or if you want to just use the speakers, uh, original speakers of this uh, device, you can do that. Uh, anyway, also a, a very nice, neat feature, bro. Plus, remember the car charger has two USB ports you can connect uh, and charge two phones in the same time while this one is charged with your car. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Okay, and just here we go. I'm in the car right now. Uh, just uh, basically, I set up everything in my car here, my Samsung S10 E and one car stereo. Let me just check out how it looks like. Check this out. Awesome, isn't it? Anyway, let's check it out a little bit. Uh, the UI, this device, how it looks like, uh, uh, how smooth it is, what kind of feature it has uh, with my Samsung S10e. Enjoy. Okay, here we go, here we go, guys. This is how it looks like. I'm gonna just show you a little bit here from close up. Sorry if the lights are very, very bright here since I'm recording this at the day and using right now a phone so because it's easy for me to record this with the phone. Anyway, that's how it looks like. Very big, large display, obviously. Remember, seven inches uh, HD plus resolution, we call it like that. So we have AirPlay, we have Android Auto, of course. Uh, check this out, Android Auto. We're gonna just go out. I'll be testing also Android Auto with my Samsung S10e. AirPlay, Auto Link for the mirror mirroring. You can obviously enable this option if you want to use the Auto Link. Welcome to Auto Link. This is the wired iPhone screen mirroring and wired Android phone screen mirroring. 
uh, FM transmitter it does have also FM radio check this out awesome what else we have USB connectivity so you can connect guys uh, I don't have it right now nothing of the USB uh, basically it has a USB port here one USB 2.0 port check this uh, check this out <coughs> So it has 3.5 mm headphone jack, DC jack, and of course headphone jack plus an SD card expansion, which I'm using right now. So I'm using right now the, uh, of course, SD card expansion. And uh, from here, guys, you can even uh, just simply, if you are just listening to something or watching something, or just basically maybe the Google Maps are just too loud, you can just simply here with this two uh, capacitive buttons I would call like that on the bottom and capacitive buttons you can change uh, the volume and from here you can go to home screen nothing else there's no other touch uh, touch uh, capacitive basically buttons keys everything else is uh, of course on the touch uh, remember they have also here microphone just on the right side of this uh, beautiful one car stereo device anyway let's go to the card guys firstly we're gonna just check the card and I was really amazed by the brightness of this one. Uh, the brightness is really good, guys. The brightness is really good. Check it out in comparison to the Samsung SNE, uh, which was, what, a 2019 flagship device. Very good brightness, man. That's very, very good brightness. I love what I'm seeing here. This is going to check the viewing angles. Obviously, there's not an AMOLED panel. <laughs> don't expect something uh, to be on pair with the, I don't know, Samsung AMOLED panels here on the uh, smartphone devices. But I'm very, very satisfied by the quality. So this is just a video sample, guys. Uh, I love how accessible this is. Some, uh, remember, some videos will not be available. At that, I think it accepts MP4 formats without any problems whatsoever. But man, that is an amazing how. It's really, it's very fluid, man. Check this out, guys. So this is from an SD card expansion. It opens the videos very quick. I'm very satisfied by the performance here. I'm going to go back here. Just a minute. Open it. Test rendering. Check out how fast this is. Very fast. And seems that the touch. Okay, there's another video, I think so. Wait a minute, did I select it? There you go. Yeah, there you go. So I love how fast it is, and I love that the screen is very responsive. I don't need to tap three, four times to do some action, guys. Uh, also, you can select here pictures. You can even check the pictures. Check this out in the gallery. From here, you can also select the uh, uh, audio file if you want to check the audio file. And let's check the audio file. Let's go here. Ah, but I think I'm connected with my phone. Just a minute. There we go, guys. Decent guys, from 1 to 10 I'm giving it, uh, what, 7 score for the speakers guys. Remember it does have headphone jack so you can connect something else with the headphone jack support here. Let's go with another one maybe. Max volume. Awesome. Okay, that should be it. Let's go finally right now with the, uh, of course, uh, Android Auto. So guys, you need to go here to uh, Bluetooth. Make sure to enable your Bluetooth and connect it with the car stereo. You can see myself over here. We're waiting now for the connection to happen. Yalla, yalla. Okay, one of the cool stuff, guys, which you can just simply have a Bluetooth call, of course. Check this out. So you can simply from here, you need to go to your phone. Obviously, this is much faster to uh, dial. Check this out, guys. We're calling. <laughs> awesome. You can put here the speaker. You can put here the microphone. Disable it. Enable the speaker. Whatever you want to do, man. Awesome. So, also when somebody is calling you, you can just simply disable it. And by the way, you can say by yourself, guys, make sure to give permissions to see the contact details uh, uh, of the one car stereo with the Bluetooth connectivity. Awesome, and check it out how quickly it paired everything. Okay, so simply, guys, first time what you're gonna do is pair these two devices. Uh, you're gonna go to the Bluetooth, and uh, it should give me automatically here connection, like a setup. Let me just try to see it. We're gonna wait a little bit. I'll try again so here we go on car stereo i unpaired it and this is the first time i'm paying it with okay give us this pass key give us this pass key let's check this out okay should be able to connect man because i forgot to uh, to show you basically that it has bluetooth audio uh, options you just need to swipe on the bottom like see by itself like that 
uh, it has phone option which I showed you which you can just simply access here from the top very easy EQ from here you can uh, select oh not bad not bad man different EQ back seat co-pilot okay not bad that's nice uh, settings wallpaper so you can change the wallpaper if you don't like this wallpaper let me check it out can I do this anything ah okay I didn't even notice man I just need to basically tap it and it's gonna randomly change the wallpaper on the back that's it there you go guys and settings you can go to settings system wallpaper English update so from here you can update your and select a different time dates system version GPL version go back smartphone Wi-Fi Bluetooth display from here in display let's see here backlight level day 9 oh we can go to 10 so you can see it was a 10 and backlight level night uh, also we can put it the maximum okay nice picture settings brightness Ah, okay this is just the two okay not bad not bad so a lot of stuff a lot of stuff here to customize from the settings I'm not gonna go through all of them uh, I think you get the point diverse settings factory settings sound effects CVBS uh, you get the point bro a lot of stuff here to customize with this uh, device one car stereo there you go so uh, Android Auto guys remember that uh, Android Auto doesn't have every single smartphone in the world you'll have to check the list uh, in the description of course uh, over their website anyway to continue select Android Auto on your car screen uh, anyway we selected here uh, Samsung S10e let's check this out okay here we go guys finally few attempts but hey ho so requires permission to access your car data that is uh, yes so let's go okay continue Gonna continue right now. Android Auto needs you to turn on notification access from your phone. Okay, let's check this out. So we will have to give Android Auto notification access. Allow it, guys. You can see myself over here. I just allowed it. And uh, permission needed. Your phone can't display Google Maps while Android Auto is running. Okay, boom. Check this out, guys. <laughs> nice. That is very, very nice, guys. Very, very nice. Uh, wow. Well, Wow, I'm very impressive here. We have also small podcasts. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We have a small tiny widget here for the pod pod uh, podcasts. Uh, let's go back here to the home. I'm going to go back here. Let's see here. Okay, we have phone. We have exit. We have messenger. So we can access the messenger from uh, this uh, outer car play. But that's very nice. Game snacks, calendar, messages, reminder, news, settings, Skype, WhatsApp, Viber, Oh man, that is crazy. But of course, the most important thing is for us is the maps. Let's check it out. The maps. Wow, man, that is it. That's it. That's it, guys. That's it. Let's go here with the DHL. Loading the screen. That is very, very That's very fast. So, by the way, I think I can turn off the lock the screen of the phone. I don't need to use it anymore. So, guys, we are ready here. You can see by uh, that even while we are uh, driving and using the Google map we can select some podcast and listen to the podcast guys let me just try to play it back yeah wow man that is beautiful that is seriously beautiful let's see what is this icon over here okay loading media suggestions okay okay what do you want to listen to okay they just give us some uh, media suggestions notifications close and here we have uh, I think we have here Google yeah open open messages I was gonna work. I, have, I, I said two times open. I think it's my mistake. Nevertheless, nevertheless, it works, guys. This is just a final test for the end. Uh, what a nice product! What a nice product indeed. I love. Any new messages? Yeah, we have new messages. Okay. Anyway, what I love about it that it's very bright, uh, big display, guys. A capacitive screen here, protected, very well protected here. We have SD card, USB port, 3.5 mm that's for jack, a lot of cool stuff. FM radio, Bluetooth connectivity, so it can it can be used with all vehicles, guys, with all vehicles, and it can be used with the iOS and Android devices. But remember, not every single Android device. Just have that in mind. I think that every single iPhone device can offer it. At least those in the last five years, if I'm not wrong yeah and anyway, we're gonna go back here to the settings phone you can select here the phone obvious oh, yeah. wow man that is that is awesome man that is seriously awesome check this out guys so you can select everything go back here and what I love about it that it's uh, it's smooth bro it's smooth love it you can exit from here if you want you can completely exit immediately here this uh, uh, car auto 
And we're going to go back to the maps. Just a minute. That, that, okay, maps. You can From here, we can just cancel our trip. Public parking. Select another one. Loading the route. And we are ready. Rest on and loudness is enough, guys. Loudness is enough for uh, this kind of, uh, let's just say, setup. Uh, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed in this uh, small, short unboxing, hands on review of this uh, one car stereo. You're going to have the buying link in the description. It's selling around $300 with a discount coupon. So please make sure to use it. Uh, and uh, yes, enjoy, bro. Anyway, if you, got, if, you get, if you already got this device, please make sure to leave uh, in the comment section your own list of pros and the cons. Uh, have a great day and see you till next time. Hamid is signing out. Peace out.